question is gonna basically share with people what I think caramel complexion is basically. Um for some reason somebody tried to make a jar of cooked caramel and tell me that that was the color of caramel. No, sweet. The thing is, in reality, this is caramel. The candy caramel is much lighter than the jar you're showing, and I will show a photo of that. And also, it's not just that. I mean, look at the other um, foundation color that say caramel on it. Look at the people with that complexion. Oh, did you notice? Most of them aren't even black, are they? No. That's what I was pointing out. The complexion is a very ambiguous complexion. It's not specifically to black people, Asian people, Hispanic people, any of them. Kind of like an all-around thing. So, that's all I have to say on that video. Um, you'll see the whole slide that I'm showing. This is a short video, I know, and it's kind of, you know, I, I wouldn't think I would need to make a video like this, but somebody brought it up, so here you go. Enjoy. Bye. Okay, I wanted to add a few more things. Um, I want to point out that um, specifically people who are as in the camera category I'm putting here would be by definition like in the back. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out was, oh yeah, I was having an argument over what subset it's in. And in foundations, it's usually rich tan, which is like the darkest tan. Sometimes it's in medium dark, too. Um, medium dark serves as a tan um, option of the color options in makeup, basically. Um... I would say tan is more so medium sometimes, though, and sometimes medium dark is more like very tan, I guess you could say, or darker tan. But the point is, yes, it's not usually in the dark or deep category. Um, you, the people that are usually about that color, it is what it is. I don't really know what else to tell you. 